back once again today we are going to continue the previous lecture and we were discussing the required energy requirements for our life processes so how energy is required and why energy is is required for life processes and how the energy requirements are actually fulfilled so food is a kind of fuel which provides energy to all the living organisms right so energy requirements energy required by organism comes from the food that organism eats so whatever food we eat it is broken down into simple substances from which we obtain energy so we'll study this topic in even more detail right so uh, in order to study this topic we have to become clear in concept of nutrition so food is an organic substance right so we can't eat something which is inorganic like ammonia and so there are many inorganic substances around us and it is imp impossible to digest those inorganic substances so obviously food is an organic substance i'm sorry uh, right uh, so the simple simplest food is glucose and this simple food called glucose is also called simple sugar right so um the more complex food is starch starch is obviously made from glucose so the general name of the substances like glucose sugar and starch is carbohydrates carbohydrates are more common foods for getting energy fats and proteins are also called foods they are just called foods so a wider definition of food however also includes mineral salts vitamins water and other essential for no essential products for normal growth and development of an organism the process of taking in food consuming food and utilizing it is called nutrition it is a process in which food is obtained in order to utilize it to provide more energy for performing various metabolic activities of an organism actually the term nutrition comes from the word nutrient nutrient is a substance which is organic or inorganic substance and it will it fulfills the energy requirement needed for a body to complete the process life processes to sustain its life on earth so let us quickly complete this new nutri uh, nutrition topic there are types of nu different types of nutritions so we know that green plants make their own food and non green plants have to depend on green plants in order to gain food they don't they can't make or manufacture the food on their own so types of heterotrophic nutrition what is heterotrophic nutrition there are two types of nutrition so these autotrophs prepare their own food they are mostly green so the the green what is this green green is nothing but chlorophyll and this chlorophyll helps in synthesizing their own food chlorophyll is present on leaf in leaf so we this is the basic thing were, like which we were learning from our childhood so what about this heterotrophs heterotrophs depend on autotrophs for their nutrition right so the, there are even more divisions in heterotrophs there are variety of nutritions so heterotrophs are further divided into they are further divided into saprophyll saprotrophs parasites and holozoans so uh, the nutrition followed by autotrophs or autotrophic nutrition nutrition followed by heterotrophs or heterotrophic nutrition nutrition followed by saprophyll saprotrophs are is nothing but saprophyll nutrition and this is parasitic nutrition and this is holozoic nutrition 
cholezoic nutrition right so let us see the difference between each and let us become clear with each and every topic so firstly saprotrophic uh, nutrition or saprophytic nutrition so uh, saprophytic nutrition is that nutrition in which an organism obtain its food from dead and decaying organism or uh, like you know organ dead and decayed organism matter or organism uh, like you know plants animals dead and decayed so organisms which obtain the nutrition from dead and decayed matter is called they are uh, that new that particular nutrition is called saprophytic nutrition sapro means rotten and saprophytic nutrition means rotten leaves dead animals and household waste like rotten um, bread etc the organism having saprophytic nutrition mode of nutrition are called saprophytes Saprophytes are the organisms which obtain their food from dead plants like uh, rotten leaves, dead and decaying animals' body, animal bodies, and other decaying organic matters like rotten bread, etc. Fungi like bread molds, rhizopus are best example for saprophyting nutrition. And parasites. Parasites you must be knowing. Parasites are nothing but the organisms which depend on other organisms. Uh, either internal or externally are called parasites right there are two types of parasites external and internal parasites so external parasites leeches you know leech right so it is um, it is an organism it is a parasite it sucks your blood you don't have any pain for that but it sucks your impure blood actually so parasites external parasite leech and internal parasite um, plasmodium so external parasites even lice you know lice so called uh, which which actually live your, live on your live in your hair so they are also external parasites so now holozoic holozoic nutrition is that nutrition in which an organism takes complex organic food material and then breaks into simpler products So parasitic nutrition is that nutrition in which an organism drives its food from the body of another living organism. It is actually called as host without killing it. So a parasite is an organism which is uh, maybe it is plant or animal which feeds on other living organism. It is called host. Now holozoic nutrition. Holozoic nutrition is that nutrition in which an organism takes the complex organic food material into its body by the process of ingestion and ingested food is digested and then absorbed into body cells of organism the undigested and unobserved part of food is thrown out of the body of the organism by process of ingestion the human beings most of the animals have an holozoic mode of nutrition in other words man cat dog cattle the tiger lion Bear, giraffe, frog, fish, and obima, etc., have the holozoic mode of nutrition. So, once again, I repeat holozoic mode of nutrition is nothing but the nutrition in which animals stay, animal take complex organic food material into its body by the process of ingestion. An ingested food is digested and then absorbed by body cells. So, here in case of holozoic nutrition, nutrition follows a particular series of processes and then it uh, the nutrients and essential food will be absorbed by body cells for its growth and development so thank you for watching the next video we'll be learning about nutrition and plants hope you are clear with nutrition if you're having any queries please comment in comment box and do subscribe and like to my video thank you so much for watching bye